Hey you guys, uh, this is the official YouTube video or YouTube channel to Digital Princess and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Procreate to design your nails. This is going to be a full detailed step-by-step -step tutorial and showcase of Procreate and how to use my nail templates. So um, these are all of the nail plates. This is the ultimate nail template bundle. First, let's go into just the layout of Procreate and all the buttons and the brushes and stuff like that. So um, to start here, we have the gallery button. And when you click that, it brings you to all of your artwork. Then you have the wrench tool. So this is where you can insert files and photos, you can um, control your canvas. Um, this is also where you can save your artwork, video, and blah, yada, yada, yada. The next, um, the majority of the stuff isn't like that important. Um, they do do different things, but I don't even like touch any of this stuff, so we're not going to go into that. Um, the next tool is the adjustments. So this is where we can change the colors and have different effects like blur effects and liquify effects but we'll go into that when I do the um, tutorial for the nail designs. And then we have the select tool. This brings up this menu down here where we have like automatic select, freehand select, rectangle, yada yada. You can invert your selection, you can color fill your selection and so on and so forth. And then here is the cursor tool, which brings up another um, menu at the bottom here. Um, and this is where we can um, like make changes to any layer, um, freeform, uniform, distort, warp. The next brush we're gonna, I mean, the next button we're gonna talk about is the brushes. So this brings you to the brush library, where Procreate automatically organizes all of the brushes by type. And um, if you want to, like right here, you, as you can see, I have my brushes, and this is something that I created, and this is like the brushes that I tend to go to um, the most, and also where I create my own brushes. Um, and the way you do that is you slide down in this menu, and then this plus button will pop up. You can tap it and create your own um, your own section for your own favorite brushes. Then we have the smudge tool. I don't use the smudge tool that much in nail designing, but it's there. And then we have the eraser. We have the layers. And then we have the color palettes and the color wheels. On the left hand side, we have this thing here, which controls the size of the brush. Um, these little ticks and toggles are things that I saved in terms of um, like the brush size so let's say I like this size I use it a lot um, if you tap on it this plus button will show up and then it kind of saves where you were so that's that and then um, we have this slider here that controls the brushes opacity so you can turn it down and have a very um, faint sort of see-through color and then this is our undo and redo buttons so that is a rundown of all of the buttons and the interface you see on procreate the next thing we're going to talk about is how to organize your templates okay so when you actually load your nail templates into procreate you're going to have them and they're going to look like this um, the best way this is kind of confusing if you were to just like go on a layer and try to work on it because as you can see no matter what we tap on all we're seeing is the long stiletto templates and the reason for that is because it's at the top if I were to turn it off you would see what's under it which is the long coffin templates so these little um, ticks control what you can see so if it's off you won't be able to see it and if it's on you can see it but the way the best way in my opinion to use the templates is to make a group so what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the top layer and then we're going to slide all of these layers to the right. And we're going to hit this button up here that says group. Okay, so now they're all in a collapsible group. And when you're ready to use a template, you pick which one you want to use and you pull it out. So I'm going to use the long bundle today, which is layer 12. Oops and I'm going to pull it out of the group. I'm going to collapse the group, turn it off so I don't see it, and all I see is the long bundle template. 
Now, once you're actually ready to use your templates, you have to tap on the layer that you're ready to use and hit the reference button. You're gonna see that it says reference under the layer right there. And then we're gonna add a new layer by pressing this plus button here. And then we can choose our color. I'm gonna choose this one here. And if you wanna choose that exact color, the hex code is F3C2CD. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color and just slide it into the nail templates, like so. And if you wanna do this faster, tap this button here and then the color drop will turn on and you can just continue to tap as you please. Whoops. If you um, tap the templates, it'll fill the whole background. And then when you're done, you just tap it to turn off color drop. And there you go, you have all your nails filled. So that's how to use the color drop tool in Procreate. You can only fill closed shapes in Procreate. And we'll talk about that more when I add the next um, feature to the nails. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add new elements to your nails. Um, really more so focusing on utilizing the clipping mask ability. So I'm going to change this color to white and I'm going to do a French tip in all of the long coffin nails. I'm going to add a new layer by pressing the plus button up here. And then I'm going to tap on clipping mask. Once I have that tapped on, I'm going to make sure I have the brush that I want selected um, and it's the monoline brush. I'm going to tap on it and make sure that it's stabilized and it is. The reason we want to stabilize our brushes is just so that the brush can write very smoothly because by default the brushes don't let you write as smoothly as you'd like. I'll show you what it looks like without it. So as you can see, it's like very wonky, it's very easy to mess up, but when I stabilize the brush, let's just make all of these like halfway, maybe turn this one up a little bit more. Now it's a lot easier for me to get a smooth arc. And with my monoline brush, I'm going to zoom in and draw an arc. And I'm going to hold it, and you'll notice that this edit arc button pops up. When you tap it, you'll get these three blue buttons. And with them, you can manipulate your arc however you'd like. I'm just going to make sure that they're both even. And then you can do like a reverse French. You can do a really deep French. You can do a very shallow French. You can do like a off to the side sort of thing. I'm just going to do a classic right now. So I'm going to do that. Once I'm done editing, I'm going to tap editing so it turns off. I know at this point it feels like you can fill the nail, but you actually can't right now, and there's two reasons why. The first reason is that on this layer, there's only a U. There isn't a closed shape that you can fill. Remember on Procreate, you can only fill closed shapes, so that's one reason. The second reason is that you still have the nail templates marked as reference, and when you have that marked as reference, when you try to fill on other layers, Procreate gets kind of confused on which one is the master layer. So let's take this off of reference, go back to this one. We're going to close the shape by outlining the French that we want to do. And then we can fill it. And we have our filled in French right there and it's perfect and I love it. Um, so as you can see in this um, little, what's it called, like a thumbnail I guess, um, the French tip that's actually drawn is pretty messy, but because we have it on clipping mask, it fits only into the nails that we have under it. If I were to take it off of clipping mask, this is what the French tip would look like. It kind of ruins the templates a little bit, but putting it back on clipping mask, it keeps it, it keeps everything inside of the shapes that we have and the layers under it. So, so that's how we add new elements using clipping mask. And I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to like um, fill in the rest of the nails um, to be French tip. At least not all of them, maybe just some of them for, for the design that I'm doing right now. So I'm going to duplicate it. And then this is where the cursor tool comes in. I'm going to tap it. And then as you can see, we have like this um, border around this layer. And um, we're going to just slide it over to this nail. 
when you see these three blue lines pop up that's how you know that it's the same level as the one you did previous I'm gonna pinch them together to put them both on the same layer I'm gonna duplicate by sliding to the left and I'm gonna tap duplicate I'm gonna go back to the cursor tool and it's gonna highlight that layer and I'm gonna slide it over to this side so now we have all of our French tips where we want them so now I want to add an, another element, but only to the French tip nails. Um, I want to actually make the French tip to be pink and white ombre. So I'm going to do that by I'm going to do that by merging these together. I'm going to actually take them off of clipping mask. I want to show you um, really how to manipulate clipping mask to work for you. Um, right now we have the French tips on clipping mask. So I'm going to take them off really quick and as you can see it kind of like ruins the templates a little but that's okay because we can always put it back on clipping mask. So um, I'm going to make a new layer by pressing this plus button. I'm going to put this on clipping mask and what this does is that it will make sure everything that you draw in this layer will only show up within this shape that's right under it. If this was also on clipping mask, then everything that we draw on this layer would fit into this shape down here because this is the master layer in terms of the clipping masks. As you can see, there's a little arrow here, and that means that they're both pointing to this master layer. But I don't want that because if I were to do what I wanted to do, um, let's go here. So if I were to fill this, it would fill in the part of the nail that I don't want filled in. I have to take this off clipping mask and make this clip mask just what's under it. And then as you can see when we do that, the pink just fits into, the pink doesn't touch the base at all. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to move it. Make sure that this layer is highlighted. I'm going to actually go to the adjustments tool and I'm going to scroll down to um, motion blur. You can slide up or down to create that ombre. Once you're done, you're gonna merge these two, the French tip and the pink, and then you're gonna put this back on clipping mask. And as you can see, it's perfectly, it's back to being within the nails. So that's how you like, you can add new elements and manipulate the clipping mask to do what you wanna do with your design. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to use um, some of the effects here by adding new elements to this nail and remember every time we want to add a new element we are going to put it on a new layer so right now I'm going to focus on like a glittery marbly background <laughs> so I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to make it a clipping mask I'm going to close the layers and I'm going to change my brush to this glittery sort of brush and where to find it exactly for you guys go down to luminance and then it's this glimmer brush right here I'm gonna change the color of the brush to this color and I'm gonna change the size to maybe 25 I'm gonna save that I'm also gonna have a smaller one saved 8% and I'm gonna zoom in to maybe the pointer nail and then I'm just gonna draw this brush like that with the big one and then do it again and I'm going to grab the small one and go like that okay and then on a new layer so this is all going to be on one nail but I like to be able to manipulate different elements um, so I put it on a new layer make a clipping mask I'm going to go back to my monoline brush I'm going to keep that same color and I'm just going to put like random like swirls on this side and this side and I'm gonna go to white I'm gonna go in between those pink sections and do swirls okay and then I'm gonna go over to the adjustments tool and I'm going to click um, liquify down here um, so I'm going to change my um, thing here like just press this button that says push I'm gonna click twirl left I'm just going to hold down and let this marble my colors. And 
and then I'm going to change it back to push and I'm actually going to like really push things around just do something like this okay once I'm happy with how I marbled I'm gonna go um, into my smudge brush and my smudge brush is on the monoline brush um, I'm going to make sure that it's I'm gonna put it at let's say 50% or so and the opacity is at around 60% or so and then I'm just gonna like Kind of push on some of the edges not all of them but maybe some of them this effect is kind of like if you had um blooming gel on a nail and then you're putting a marble color into it and it kind of spreads out a little um that's what we're doing with this um with the smudge brush so just in some areas not everywhere maybe like that maybe something like that and i'm happy with it Okay. So at this point, I'm going to add a little bit more glitter on top. And uh, I'm not going to go back to this layer because this layer is under this layer. I want the glitter to be on top. So I'm actually going to put the layer on top of it. Make sure it's on clipping mask. Go back to the glitter brush. And I'm going to change the color to maybe something a little bit darker. Should I do darker? No, maybe I'll change it to the color that the base was. And I'm just going to reinforce that like glitter aspect. So that's that for that section. I'm going to merge them all together because I'm done with that right now. And then I'm going to add a new layer because now I'm going to put what's on top of this design. I'm going to clipping mask it. I'm going to change the brush to white. And I'm going to go back to my monoline brush. I'm gonna merge this all together I'm going to duplicate it I'm gonna flip it so that it has like a little bit of like you know it's not so the same and I'm gonna drag it over to this now I might even um, flip it vertically oops What's that? slide it over to this now and boop all done. That is done for that nail. I'm going to merge them. Let's see. Another element I want to add is I'm going to put it on a new layer. I'm going to change my color to this pink one that we had. And I'm going to make sure my brush is on monoline. I'm going to go into the thumbs now. And I'm going to draw an oval and hold it so that I can manipulate it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna duplicate this and slide it over here. And I'm gonna merge them. I'm gonna fill them. And then I'm going to go to the adjustment brush and I'm going to Gaussian blur, blur to get, give myself an aura an aura now. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm going to go in with like a gold color, like a light gold kind of color. And I'm going to change my brush to technical pen because this one has like tapered tips. So I'm actually going to make this easier for me by going to the actions tool, going to canvas, turning on drawing guide, and then click edit drawing guide and move this to maybe um, symmetry change the options to quadrant okay then I'm gonna hit done so on this layer we it says assisted that means the drawing assist is toggled on you can turn that on and off but basically I 
can now create a um a very um what's it called what's that word i'm looking for Symm sym symmetrical uh twinkle twinkle star or whatever this one a little bit okay done i'm gonna turn this off of drawing assist let me put that on a new layer i'm gonna draw a little gem on the inside of that and then i'm gonna add a new layer and i'm gonna clip mask to the gem only i'm gonna go to the glitter brush i'm gonna turn it to like a dark gray color turn it down and kind of just do that on one side just so it kind of has like that sparkle a little bit so i'm going to merge this into the gem first and then merge it to the twinkle star and then i'm going to duplicate the twinkle star click the cursor tool and slide it over to the other thumbnail okay so we have something like that so now focusing on this now um, i'm going to merge this so focusing on this now here we're going to go to white we're going to clip mask it. We're going to make sure we are on the, maybe the technical pen. I'm going to do a snowflake. Um, go to edit drawing guide and then move this circle from the thumb over to the um, snowflake now. I think I'm going to do it kind of like off to the side here. Move it there. This layer should be assisted. I'm going to turn on drawing assist on that layer. And then I'm going to start drawing my snowflake. Mm. Like so. And I think I'm done with my snowflake, and then I'm just gonna add like little twinkles. Okay, and then you can turn this off. And I'm going to duplicate this and slide it over to the snow. And then voila! I think the snail is kind of too busy. I don't like it. But I just wanted to show you how to use those other elements like the liquify tool and um, the smudge tool. So that's the reason why I did it. But I think I'm actually going to just get rid of like all the... Maybe I'll just make it like glitter and then with the white. So let's go to our glimmer brush. We can merge these. And then um, I'm going to make sure that it's clipping masked and turned on to this color put it on like the put it on the bigger one first and then I'm just gonna go over like that and then I'm gonna go with a smaller brush and I'm just gonna go in the center is that too much okay if it's too much I do want the glitter there but it is kind of like a bit much let me just put it on here so I can do it all at the same time um, so what you can do um, is you can go to this end button and slide down the opacity of the glitter maybe put it at like 60 and then that's not like too, as intense as it was before you know yeah I'll do it like that and duplicate flip and bada bing bada boom okay so the nails are completely done you can merge all of this now and it's just one design that you can turn on and off and um, at this point I can show you how to shadow and highlight shadows and highlights I'm gonna go on a new layer make sure it's clipping mask I'm gonna set this to black make sure my monoline brush is being used I'm gonna put this like all the way to max and then I'm just gonna go in on the side and draw um, it doesn't have to be perfect but like I do want them to be like decent the same amount of thickness and I'm just gonna draw one black chunk on the side 
and then I'm going to um, turn I'm gonna click the end I'm gonna turn the opacity down to maybe like 20 to give it like that shadow you can Gaussian blur it but I'm um, leaving it kind of like not with Gaussian blur, blur kind of gives it more of that like 90s art cartoonic sort of look um, you can turn it down a little bit more maybe to like 15 you know and then I'm going to um, change my color to white adjust a new layer clipping mask and then you can turn the brush down maybe to like this size this is about 22 percent and then you can start drawing the um, the shine so for all the French nails I only put the highlight in um, the French and then for the nails that are longer like I'll go around I'll do this okay and then you're gonna take that layer and you're going to turn it down to maybe like 57% and these are your nails we have fully designed nails that look super cute and now you have a better understanding of how to use Gaussian blur motion blur liquify um, you know how to use the layers you know how to use clipping mask you know how to um, use the reference when you want to fill and create this layer it's just very important layer you understand the brushes how to make your own set of brushes um, how to manipulate the brushes stabilization um, you understand um, well I didn't really go too much detail into the color wheel and stuff like that and how to save colors but I can definitely like like I said like if you guys have questions more questions for me put them down in the comments below and I'll make a video once I have enough questions of like a Q&A sort of video answering all your questions so that's that um, you learned a lot today I'm proud of you give yourself a pat on the back you are now a procreate expert and you can start designing nails as you please, as you wish. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.